a ratio is very similar to a rate except with a ratio we're comparing items that are similar in value so with a rate we did something like miles per hour and a ratio we're going to be comparing inches to inches or dollars to dollars the same type of thing so maybe I give you an example with five inches to 12 inches okay they're both talking about this concept of measurement they're both looking at inches so we can simplify this to just say we're really looking at 5 to 12 or sometimes you'll see it written as 5 colon 12 so that's 5 to 12 and this is what we see a lot of times we'll see this one when we're looking at drawings maps things that are drawn out for us and the other way we could see this is 5 twelfths 5 over 12 okay so it's a it's a scaling process that we can use to compare similar terms so let's say I had a board a piece of wood okay and I wanted to get certain cuts made in that okay well I'm drawing it out on a piece of paper I draw this piece of wood out and I said all right well I'm gonna cut this wood and I'm gonna cut it into one-third pieces okay well, let's say this whole thing is an entire uh, let's say 48 inches okay well I want to draw this out 48 inches long would be basically four feet or four feet long on a piece of paper I don't want to draw that out so what I could say is okay in real life what I'm gonna do is uh, every inch that I draw on my paper is gonna be the same as 12 inches in real life okay so when I draw this out rather than drawing out 48 inches I would really only need to draw out something that would be four inches long one twelfth Right, one twelfth of forty eight would be four inches. Okay, so this is a way to shorten things down to say in my drawing, one inch is equivalent to twelve inches in real life. Okay, so I'm giving you a ratio to compare what my drawing shows compared to what it really is. So a ratio just compares items that are identical in terms that could be simplified down into a fractional form.